Leningrad is strategically uh, extremely uh, important area, and uh, Russia basically turned it into a military fortress with uh, dozens of thousands of uh, troops uh, there uh, from time to time deploying uh, uh, missiles, including tactical nuclear weapons, which can be transferred easily. On the angry reaction from Russia after some supplies to its territory of Kaliningrad were blocked, Lithuania prevented some goods crossing the border because of EU sanctions. Earlier, I spoke to Vaidotas Benyushas, editor-in-chief of Baltic News Service Lithuania, and he told me the latest. Well, first of all, it's uh, very much about uh, geography uh, because uh, Lithuania is not bordering the mainland Russia, uh, but just bordering its small enclave, Kaliningrad, which is uh, bordering Baltic Sea, Lithuania and Poland. And Lithuania is uh, a country of transit, of people, of goods uh, from mainland uh, Russia to Kaliningrad. the, the, the route goes from mainland Russia to Belarus to Lithuania and then to Kaliningrad. And as of uh, last weekend, part of the uh, goods uh, can no longer be transported through Lithuania uh, because EU sanctions uh, took place. So about half of uh, cargoes, half of goods, including steel, uh, can no longer transit uh, to Kaliningrad from, main Russia, uh, from mainland Russia and vice versa. And uh, Russia is obviously furious about it, uh, but it, it's part of, of EU sanctions that were adopted because of uh, Russian war in Ukraine. Yeah, because Kaliningrad is completely separated off from the Russia uh, from the rest of Russia, even though it is a Russian territory. Um, and how much stuff is being blocked by Lithuania that would normally be going into Kaliningrad? Uh, Around half, I would say, uh, around half of, of stuff cannot go through transit, uh, through railways, uh, but it doesn't mean that it cannot reach the enclave in other ways. Uh, there are ships, um, civilian ships, that can bring cargo uh, to Kaliningrad because it is a Baltic seaport, so uh, it can be exchanged. I mean, it could take time, it could be more complicated, it could take more time, but there is no full uh, blockade. Um, it's just half of the products, and there are other means, planes and ships, that can supply supply the Kaliningrad. And this action is being taken simply because Lithuania wants to make clear that it's complying with EU sanctions? Yes, uh, the, uh, the reasoning is that the EU sanctions um, took force in, 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 in um, mid of um, this month, and um, Lithuanian authorities got explanations from EU executive body from the European Commission that these sanctions should be applied. They were negotiated back uh, in March, just uh, less than one month after uh, Russia launched an invasion in Ukraine. At that time, uh, it was agreed that you know the sanctions would apply several months later without any exceptions. Lithuania did not ask for any specific exception that, you know, the transit uh, could go through the territory. And that's for the obvious reasons. Lithuania is a strong supporter of Ukraine and wants to punish Russia. Is one of the most vocal critics of Russia. And now as they took place, uh, it's not a unilateral decision. There were calls from activists in Lithuania since the war started to take some unilateral actions and to to, uh, to do some uh, you know national sanctions, uh, but uh, the government quite strictly refused to do that and just want to go uh, to adopt the uh, decisions that we're taking by all 27 member states. Now Russia, as you say, has reacted pretty angrily. Uh, We've had uh, the foreign ministry in Moscow saying Russia reserves the right to take actions to protect its national interests. How much concern is there in Lithuania at what could happen next? Well, it's always uh, some, you know, unease, uh, some some concern when when you hear you hear the threats from Russia. But uh, we are quite used to that uh, for for many years, uh, living living through living nearby this uh, this neighbor there is a clear understanding that you know Kaliningrad issue is a sensitive one uh, for Russia and that there could be some response uh, 
so there is, I think, the increased level of concern here. But on the other hand, there is no no panic because uh, still the uh, r- measures that Russia could take at this moment seems uh, limited. Lithuania is a member of NATO alliance, and we can see that you know Russia militarily is struggling in Ukraine. Lithuania is not dependent on Russian energy anymore. So we'll see how it goes. Obviously, the Kremlin would like to show some tough response uh, to that. Um, it's clearly understood that that's a sensitive issue. But what Lithuania is counting on is the support from uh, the European Union, as it is a European Union decision. Lithuania wants that uh, EU bodies, uh, European Commission and Brussels would negotiate uh, with Russia, not uh, Lithuania itself, uh, as a country, that it would not be a bilateral issue. And, of course, Lithuania is counting on, on the Americans uh, and other uh, NATO ally support, uh, NATO five article commitment. So uh, there is concern, but there is no panic. Kaliningrad is a strategically very important location for Russia. Um, it's got its uh, Baltic fleet headquartered there. Uh, and we've had one of President Putin's closest allies, Nikolai Petrushov, um, flying into the region to talk about what he called uh, national security issues. Um, this is potentially quite a serious dispute, isn't it? Obviously, uh, Kaliningrad is strategically an extremely uh, important area, and uh, Russia basically turned it into a military fortress with uh, dozens of thousands of uh, troops uh, there uh, from time to time deploying uh, uh, missiles, including tactical nuclear weapons, which can be transferred easily. And it's very heavily fortified area. Uh, so uh, that's strategically extremely important area. And if you look at, uh, at the map, if you look at the uh, potential uh, potential military scenarios uh, that would play a, a key role. Uh, and uh, obviously, uh, that's understood that for both Russia, for Lithuania, for Poland, it's, uh, it's a very delicate situation. Uh, but at the same time, uh, one must understand that Russia now is struggling uh, in Ukraine very heavily with its conventional forces. On the end, uh, both Poland and Lithuania, which are bordering Kaliningrad, are NATO members. Uh, so, uh, yes, the situation is, is quite delicate. Uh, there are tensions. Uh, the Baltic Sea uh, fleet, the Russian Baltic Sea fleet, as you mentioned, is also uh, very important in Russian military planning. Uh, so there would likely could be some, some response, uh, I don't know, deploying, uh, deploying some, uh, some weaponry there or some, uh, some economic response or some uh, more tough talk uh, it could happen. We'll see there it goes. In a couple of, of days, probably Russia would like to present some kind, uh, some kind of response. But still, if you look, if you look rationally, uh, there is a limited, uh, a limited room for, for maneuver. You mentioned that Lithuania is a member of NATO. We've got the big NATO summit uh, being held this week. Is Lithuania going to be looking to its NATO allies to um, provide more military support inside Lithuania in recognition of the delicate situation which it's been in uh, ever since uh, Russia, of course, invaded Ukraine. Uh, It's there very close to Russia, although it doesn't have a direct border except with Kaliningrad. Would Lithuania like to see more support from its allies now in terms of more forces on the ground there? Obviously, the answer is, is yes. And Lithuania and uh, fellow Baltic states, Latvia and Estonia, have consistently asked for more military presence uh, from from, um, NATO allies uh, and from Americans uh, bilaterally. At this moment, there are uh, a battalion of of NATO troops in in each of the countries, and uh, uh, Lithuania is seeking that a battalion would be expanded into a brigade, that additional Air defense uh, systems uh, would be would be deployed in the in the country. Some decisions are expected in in NATO summit in Madrid, as you mentioned at at the end of the month. Uh, of course, uh, this situation and these tensions may be an additional argument in the discussions. But on the other hand, uh, NATO has a 
thorough uh, planning procedures, and uh, NATO has special defense plans for uh, Baltic states and Poland, which are currently being uh, reviewed. Uh, so uh, Lithuania and both authorities and the public is seeking still more uh, more presence, more boots on the ground in, in, in the territory. It looks like uh, some uh, more troops would come, uh, first of all, from Germany, which is taking lead of NATO battalion in Lithuania. Uh, but in the coming years, uh, still the amount is going uh, to be expanded. And some politicians you know, just compare the Baltic states to what West Berlin was uh, during the Cold War. 